I'm Peter Bruning. I'm here at the Capital Audio Fest. I'm here with Greg Roberts from Volte Audio. Hi, Greg. Hi. How are you? Yeah, how are you doing? I'll tell you, you've got some great sound happening in your other room here. And tell us about what's in the big room. You've got some beautiful, beautiful looking loudspeakers that you've made. Well, these are the uh, Volte Audio Vittura. Um, I've been building these for about a year now. Uh, it's a fully horn loaded uh, speaker. And. Um, uh, we pride ourselves on beautiful cabinetry, and um, let's get a look at that. Uh, the um, gosh, how beautiful! I think of myself as a packager because really, when it comes to horns, it's all been done before, mm -hmm. and uh, so. Uh, but I think this is a nice little package right here, and uh, it sure does make some good sound. So. Uh, what uh, driver components do you have in uh, Vittoria's? The uh, yeah, Vittoria has uh, a compression tweeter. It has a uh, two-inch compression mid-range driver. The mid-range driver is mounted on a uh, wooden uh, Tractrix horn that I build myself. Oh, good. Huh? The um, uh, base is a 15-inch driver and a folded horn. And I, when I designed this horn, I paid particular attention to how I um, put the inner part of it together, uh, and specifically in voicing the mid-base mm -hmm. of this of this uh, base cabinet. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was looking for very good integration between mid bass and mid range, and um, so uh, the the low bass that I get out of this cabinet is just strictly um, having it. it uh, it's about physics, so it's just the length of the horn, size of the cabinet, and uh, so I didn't really pay. I, I really couldn't do much about low bass. I had decided on that size cabinet, but I could do something about mid bass, mm -hmm. and I spent a lot of time voicing the mid bass of this cabinet. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll sit down in a moment, uh, viewers, and do a little bit of listening. What's uh, the rest of the system here at uh, your room at yeah, Capital Fest this year? I've got two sources. Uh, okay. I have a turntable that was loaned to me mm -hmm. um, uh, from uh, Ming Su of GoTo, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a Verdier turntable, uh, a Duran tone arm, mm -hmm. and a Soundsmith strain gauge cartridge and preamp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are very good cartridges in. Uh, uh, viewers, you know the turntable over the years. It has a fantastic reputation of being smooth and big and open. And how about the uh, digital source components? Uh, they're my own personal uh, gear. It's a M Labs uh, CD SACD, and then that's fed into a DAC line stage combination. So that is our preamp for the system. I understand. So we don't have a physical uh, preamp. We're using that as your uh, your control unit. A simple line stage. Yeah. yeah very good. Yeah. I'm uh, feeding directly into a Border Patrol audio uh, amplifier mm -hmm. um, made right uh, locally here in Maryland mm -hmm. um, by uh, Gary Dews. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a uh, uh, dual uh, single ended uh, with 300B output tubes, okay. uh, 18 watts per channel. You should get a shot of the massive power supplies that Gary builds. It, it's uh, really quite impressive. Uh, oh, this is for the amplifier? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now, they may be a little dark, viewers, but this is the power supply for the amplifier. There are actually two of them, one stacked on top of another. Oh, so I can see. Yeah, it's hard so to see. Yeah, I can see now. It acts as a true dual mono. So it is, in fact, a true dual mono power supplies. I assume they're very stiff. They are actually two rectified also. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. Well, that's an impressive uh, amplifying uh, combo unit on the power supply for the main amplifier unit, digital source components, and the turntable. And we are using a subwoofer here with the system. Mm -hmm. uh, these speakers uh, are, are very good down to about 50 hertz in room. Mm -hmm. And so the subwoofer is an 18 inch down firing, uh, matching subwoofer to the Victorias. Mm -hmm. And that is picking up at 50 hertz um, with a uh, digital crossover. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I have a, a subwoofer amplifier and uh, with a built-in crossover from uh, Marshan Electronics. Marshan, yep, very good company. And because I don't like to have to get up to adjust things, uh, I put a little uh, passive attenuator on the subwoofer output so that I can just the remotely adjust the output of the subwoofer. To the that's system. that's real smart. That's real smart. Good, good. Yep. Well, thank you very much for the system walkthrough, and we're going to sit down and do a little bit of listening to some reference tracks that we brought to the Capital Audio Fest. And if it's anything like the other room, uh, you really are uh, an up-and-coming designer uh, in the world of super performance audio equipment. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, Thanks. very good. Yep.